Have you ever wanted to turn a single idea into a beautiful animated story without spending weeks learning complicated software? Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I create full animated stories with just a few clicks. Even if you've never made a video before, we will build a character that stays consistent in every scene, tell a complete story that keeps people watching, and I will show you how to edit and customize every moment to make your video stand out. By the end of this video, you will be ready to create your first animated masterpiece so let's dive in first i want you to see what's actually possible take a look at these clips Everything you just saw was made with a single prompt and no complicated editing. That's the power of the tool we are using today. The reason I'm showing you this tool is simple. It solves three of the biggest problems most beginners first. Number one, keeping characters consistent from scene to scene. Number two, generating professional quality animation without technical skills. And number three, building complete stories, not just random clips. If you've ever tried other AI tools, you know at least one of these usually fails. That's why this AI2 is so good for beginners. This is for everyone who wants to start a faceless YouTube channel or make shorts and loves storytelling, bringing their characters to life without hiring a team. So let's get started. First, head over to Open Art Stories. I will leave the link in the description so you can easily follow along. From the dashboard, click on Story and select Character Vlog for this is where we'll create our story. From here, just select a create. To start any good story, we need a main character. If you do not have one yet, don't worry. Click on custom. Here, write down the name of your character. I'm going to call my character Marshmallow and upload an image of your character. For this tutorial's example, I will use this image. Once uploaded, just hit create character and OpenArt AI will automatically train that character for you in just one click. And we'll see Marshmallow written down in the prompt box. From there, we can build our story with just one single character. Now, Marshmallow will stay consistent in every single scene we create. This is something that is almost impossible with most AI tools, but OpenArt makes it effortless. Now, OpenArt AI has just brought in another exciting feature where you can add a second character to your story for more interactive storyline. All you have to do is click on the plus icon here on top and select a character from your character's library. Once selected, you'll see the names of the two characters written down. All you have to do is type in a simple prompt or you can take inspiration from these pre-made custom prompts. But I'll use the characters that I already generated in OpenArt AI. If you want to learn more about creating characters in OpenArt AI, check out this full tutorial that walks you through the entire process. We're not limited to parts, but I'll also show you how you can create these story videos with 3D characters and real human characters. Now that we have our character, it takes us to step number two. This is where we create our first scene with our two characters. All we have to do is type in a prompt and that tells the AI a type of a story that we want to create. I'll just input a simple prompt that my characters are shopping together. Then on the allow outfit changes, I will leave it to off for my characters to remain with their consistent outfit. When we scroll down, I will select a 16 by 9 aspect ratio for a regular YouTube video. I'll leave the background music on auto select. I'll leave the image model to Cdrin 0.4 and the resolution to 1720 and on the video generation model, I can select any model that I prefer. I will go for clean 2.1. And another exciting feature that they've just added is the preview storyboard. This gives you a full control over each scene in your video project. Instead of regenerating an entire video every time you want a small change, this view lets you forecast on individual shots or scenes. If a particular scene doesn't feel right, maybe the camera angle is off, the lighting doesn't convey the emotion, 
or a character's expression isn't perfect, you can regenerate just that scene. This saves time and prevents you from having to redo scenes that were already perfect. Again, the storyboard helps you visualize your entire project in sequence. You can see how each regenerated scene affects the flow and pacing of your video, allowing you to make more informed creative decisions. As we can see, this is the prompt that was used to generate the image and this is the image that was generated and this is the prompt that will be used to animate this image. We can scroll down and check how each image looks before we convert it into a video. For example, we do not like this image. We can tweak the prompt and hit try image to regenerate the image. And our image will be changed. Once you tweak your prompts and check if everything is smooth, it's time to create the full video. All we have to do is click generate a full video on the button here. Here is the generated story. The characters are all consistent and the visuals are smooth, polished and cohesive across every scene. Each character has maintained the same appearance, clothing and expression, making it easier for viewers to follow and connect with the entire story. This consistency keeps the flow seamless and gives the video a professional high quality look. <laughs> if you're enjoying what you're seeing, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comment section below. And if you have reached this far, consider subscribing because more value awaits you. Now, before I show you how to edit this entire story, rearrange some clips, let's try and create this similar type of stories using our 3D characters. Or well, let's on the vlog dashboard. I will select my two 3D animated characters. For the story topic, we can see our characters are on a cooking date or preparing for school or we can say they're on a travel adventure. For this one, I'll see my two characters are playing a video game together. From there, I leave the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and the music background to auto detect and the advanced settings just like the way they were except the resolution I go for the highest quality which is 1080p. From there, all I have to do is click a preview storyboard so that we can preview everything before we create a full video. And if there is an image we do not like before we generate the entire video, we can regenerate the images by tweaking the prompts first and hit a try image again. Once everything is done, all we have to do is hit generate a full story. Look at this, our two characters look exactly the same in every scene and the story flows naturally from one shot to the next. This is where beginners usually get stuck with other twos. You create one good image but the next scene looks completely different. That's why character consistency is such a game changer. Okay, that was just so amazing. I know we can see some inconsistency in some characters, but here is a quick way we can edit some clips and rearrange them. That's if we feel they are not in a chronological order. All we have to do is select this button which says edit this story. There are two options that we have. We can either edit the story in the storyboard or we can edit the story in the timeline. Here in the storyboard, we can see the prompt that was used to create the image, the image that was generated, the prompt that was used to turn that image into a video and the entire video that was generated. Again, like I mentioned, here we can tweak the prompt like this scene where the character is hairy like a parrot. We can play with the prompt and click on retry. Once we generate an image that we are pleased with, we can simply click on retry video to create a matching clip. And not only that, but if we want a longer story from this one that we've just created, all we simply have to do is a scroll down and we will see the add new short button appear. Just click on it. From there, all you have to do is describe the still image or upload an image that's if you have one and from there animate the image and you can keep on doing that until you reach the desired maximum for your video. Now, in the timeline here, this is where I love to edit my video. Here on the timeline, we can see all the videos that were generated and we can see how they've been arranged. We can also see the background music. Not only that, but we can play with the speed and the volume of our video. 
And we can also edit the images and the video by using these two buttons. That's if we want to. Now, to rearrange the video clips, all we have to do is grab the video file and drag it to anywhere specific you would love to place it. Once you see it, this blue funnel like appear, just release your clip and you see it placed exactly where you wanted it. Not only that, but when you select your clip, you can hover your mouse to the end of the clip and you can also adjust and drag it. That's if you'd love to reduce the duration of your video. And that's how easy it is to create videos and edit them using OpenAD AI Story Builder. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to hear from you. If you have any challenge, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to help out where I can. And once you're done, to export your video, just click on the export button here and just click on export and download without a watermark. And your video will be exported and downloaded into your PC. Now, when it comes to the pricing of OpenAD AI, you can start from as low as $14 per month as the AC issue plan and $29 per month as the advanced plan up to $56 per month and these are what you can create based on the plan that you have from here. God bless you. See you in this next amazing tutorial.